it appears as if Warner Brothers wants to leave the Snyderverse behind. And they've basically said that and implied it multiple times recently. So I don't think there's any disputing that they want to bury the Snyderverse and go in a different direction. Presumably with the Hamadaverse. Now I know, you know, Warner Brothers is going through a transition phase where, you know, they're merging with Discovery, even changing their name from Warner Brothers. They're merging Warner Brothers and Discovery into Warner Brothers Discovery. But I think Super Discovery Brothers would have been better. Ha ha. But anyways, I like Super Mario Brothers. And there's rumors or implications that with the new management, because this company is going to have to be new, that, you know, the new manager, David Zaslav, he might restore the Snyderverse. That has not been confirmed. That's just a rumor. And then all the people at Warner Brothers who don't want the Snyderverse to continue, and Sarnoff, Walter, Hamada, Toby, Emmerich, eventually, you know, they'll be fired and replaced. I would encourage you not to believe any of those rumors until it actually happens. Just because I don't want you to get your hearts set up for, like, being crushed, heartbroken, right? If this turns out not to be true. Like if Walter Hamada and Anne Sarnoff stay there and the Snyderverse stays being dead. Um, but anyways, the only way I think that people like Walter Hamada, Anne Sarnoff, Toby Emmerich and others can make the whole Restore the Snyderverse movement go away or like be severely weakened is all these other movies they're doing in the Hamadaverse or whatever, the J.J. Abramsverse, whatever, and shows, they've got to be good. They have to be successful, right? Because success is usually inarguable. You can't argue with that, right? I mean, all these people were talking about, remember Joker was going to destroy the world and all this kind of stuff, but a lot of those criticisms, the media's efforts to smear that movie just evaporated when the movie came out. The audience liked it and it made truckloads of money. And so I think that, you know, if movies like The Flash, The Batman, Suicide Squad, James Gunn Suicide Squad, if they come out, people like them and they crush it at the box office or with streaming numbers or whatever, the Green Lantern show, you know, that kind of stuff. If it's really successful and beloved, you know, that non-Snyderverse content, that will kill a lot of the Restore the Snyderverse buzz. More so than anyone saying, we're not going to continue it. But, you know, if that stuff fails, those calls to Restore it are just going to get louder and louder. Now, there are people saying it's possible for them, you know, because they have a multiverse to, you know, do the Hamadaverse and the Snyderverse, but I don't think that's going to be feasible if the people in charge of Warner Brothers, like Ann Sarnoff, Walter Hamad, etc., don't want to continue the Snyderverse. Um, they're not going to let that happen. They're going to, like, chuck it to the side. But they, the only way for them to, like, do it definitively is if all this other stuff they're doing, it's got to be successful. Black Superman, got to be a success. Although I do still think there's a way for them to do Black Superman and have Henry Cavill Superman continue at the same time. But um, who knows how that's going to go. I mean, there's rumors that Dwayne Johnson is a Snyderverse fan and he might, you know, want to have elements of it be in Black Adam, right? Um, and he adds another, like, wrinkle to the mix. Um, we'll see. Those are rumors, too. We don't know about all that. But I do think that, you know, while Warner Media and Discovery are going through finalizing this deal, I think through 2022, um, we're going to see how between now and 2022 goes because that's going to be a period of a release that's going to be a period of releasing all of these Hamadaverse movies and shows that I've mentioned um, and we're going to see how well they do if they're successful uh, I think you know the Snyderverse is done unless you know it comes back in like 30 years for some kind of let's revisit the past the same way that Star Wars did the sequel trilogy to like and they had like you know the classic characters like Luke Skywalker and Leia appear as like, you know, a call, a throwback to the past, something like that. But you know, we're going to see. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.